And we also have Rochislav here, uh, who is the interpreter. Oleksandr will have the speech in Ukrainian. But uh, before we start with the presentation uh, here, we have uh, actually reason to give an applause to all the men from the Ukraine that Oleksandr has brought. <coughs> Користуючись нагодою, хотілося б поділитися з вами досвідом виконання службових обов'язків в умовах воєнного стану. I would like to share uh, the duties uh, of being a policeman in a situation of war. Оборони Чернігова. I would uh, show you, for starters, a video uh, from a police officer's work in Chernihiv. ...та основних функціях, які поліцейські виконували під час активних бойових дій на території Чернігівщини та після її деокупації. After that, I will uh, talk about the occupation, the chronology of the occupants' attack and the main task that the police uh, were doing during active uh, war and after the deoccupation of the area. літак, який скидував бомби, такі як ФАП-500, в районі районної лікарні, район Чернівського районного відділку поліції. Саме в цьому приміщенні знаходився вложений пілот. Тут він заховався, та була там дверцята відкрита. Так би я з кожною флотою, яка піде на українську землю знімаю. Ворог відступає. Ми сьогодні перший день проводимо поліцейську спецоперацію. Довезли, да, гуманітарку? Все нормально? Да, да. Ну, слава Богу, добре.
захищаємо нашу батьківщину. Дякую. Тепер я коротко розповім про вторгнення на Чернігівщину. Now we will talk briefly about the Chernikiv district uh, attack on the um, intrusion of the Chernikiv district. Unfortunately, on the 24th of February 2022, Russia also acquired 220 kilometers off the border and with the satellite uh, with Belarus, 232 kilometers of joint borderline and Tijernikiv uh, district was the first or one of the first who was able to see the enemy. Двадцяти з ударів росіян по прикордонних заставах аеродрому державної служби з надзвичайних ситуацій внаслідок атаки загинув наш поліцейський та начальному корпусі першої бригади. Ринок the attack on the Chernikiv district started at four twenty in the morning. Russia uh, with Russian attacks to border side and on emergency services and the airfield and uh, a police officer of ours was killed uh, in the attack. It was also the um, training class of the first uh, tank brigade that was attacked. Ripki, Gorodnyu, Snovsk, Semenivko, Novgorod Siversky, та в притул підходять до обласного центру. By midday of the 24th of February, the Russians were already in our board and down in Ribki, Horodne, Snovsk, Semenivka, Novgorod, Sibirsky. They had and were already approaching the district centers. At the same time, other troops were moving uh, towards neighboring areas and past them. From the 25th of February, the Russians intensify their defense and their attempts to enter Chernikiv and start to organize air and missile attacks on the city center by destroying civil structures. As of 1st of March, the enemy was able to, to block Chernihiv from west and southwest, but the uh, blockade uh, continues. Uh, for a month and a half, uh, the Russian troops kept entering the city and uh, so they surrounded it from all the main directions, first from west and then later on from south. And uh, the night between 20 2nd to 23rd of March during the Chernikiv battle, the Russian uh, aviation uh, bombed uh, a bridge over the Desna River 
and Chernihiv was uh, in active uh, in an active military war zone. But by the 2nd of April, the opposition troops, uh, due to our uh, uh, coordinated activity of our defense forces, the enemy was able to fulfill its, uh, not fulfill its goals and back, uh, back out from the territories of Kiev and Chernikiv. On the 6th of April, the Chernikiv district was fully uh, freed. During that time, the occupants managed to do a lot of suffering to the local residents. The enemy injured 1,700 people, uh, 615 uh, were injured and 400 died. Unfortunately, 22 children were among the dead, and as a result of the shooting, 89 people died, including those evacuating in their vehicles. Seven hundred and ten high rise buildings were destroyed, uh, eighteen hundred private houses, thirty four medical and twenty nine administrative and thirty four educational institutions, forty four cultural objects and uh, eleven religious uh, dwellings. One of the examples of the cruel uh, behavior of the occupants with the civilians was their uh, crime. In the, uh, in the village in Chernikiv. Between the 2nd to the 31st of March, uh, the Russian Federation military kept uh, over 350 locals in the basement of a local school, including 73 children and five babies. The conditions, uh, uh, the sanitary conditions and not having enough space and access to air, food, water, ten elderly people died, seven people were tortured and shot. Uh, 80, 180 houses in the settlement were damaged. Sixteen houses were completely destroyed. Having told you about the chronology of the attack, I would like to move on to the practical tasks of our police officers. 
перебування Чернігова в оперативному оточенні, коли в місті були відсутні тепло, газовода та електропостачання і зв'язок, поліцейські Чернігівщини продовжували нести службу у режимі 24 на 7 та виконували завдання територіальної оборони і здійснювали заходи правового режиму воєнного стану. Ісагія. Even in the, uh, in the midst of active uh, aggression and Chernikiv being uh, surrounded uh, when there was uh, no heat, uh, gas, water, electricity and communications in the town, then the dis Chernikiv uh, district police uh, fulfilled their territorial defense tasks 24-7. mostly police officers who organized uh, their reception and responding to citizens' requests. They combated sabotage and intelligent groups. They prevented and suppressed uh, looting. They provided public safety and order. They served at uh, checkpoints. They evacuated civilians and escorted uh, humanitarian aid. They assisted citizens in difficult uh, living conditions. They documented all the facts of shelling. They assisted in, in eliminating the consequences of shelling. They uh, neutralized and secured uh, explosive devices and ammunition. The main, in addition to main functions, the police with other defense forces was involved in battle duties. On the 28th of February, the police uh, received the following tasks. They had to prevent uh, Kiemka village district to, to stop the enemy from intruding from Kiemka village. While fulfilling those tasks, our police officers uh, with uh, civilians were uh, uh, being uh, shot at. Unfortunately, four of our sp special unit police officers were killed and 17 injured. I will uh, briefly cover all the above men mentioned functions. On the 26th of February, UMB uh, was you and the uh, police forces 
were a program, sorry, were installed in the Chernikiv uh, uh, district and workstations with an internet connection. On the 28th of February, a telecommunications cabling was damaged after another uh, shelling, where, after which the hardware and software complex started to cease to uh, function, including all the emergency lines, including uh, first uh, responders and fire were unattainable. In order to organize police work, uh, citizens' uh, mobiles uh, were used to han handle calls. Представники обласної військової адміністрації. Information about mobile phone numbers that uh, the police uh, uh, received messages uh, from to the police were shared uh, among the locals uh, in every possible way, uh, in social media, through text messages, uh, mass uh, media, local government uh, organizations. Uh, and they also uh, created the Telegram channel Chernihiv 102, which uh, had a lot of uh, requests, including from abroad. At the same time, uh, quickly uh, efficient uh, communication with emergency services, services was restored and communal services or utility services center of the town. including uh, organization of uh, the basement of the national police services and emergency in service uh, including uh, with civil servants on the 5th of march the telephone line 102 was restored the work of it the functioning The police also participated in the enemy sabotage and uh, intelligence group uh, work. During filtration methods, they took the proceeding, uh, they started proceedings over uh, 100 uh, suspicious people. The results of the check show that three persons uh, who are suspected of uh, espionage were uh, transferred the police continued 
uh, searches and operative measures. For uh, murders uh, where soil does uh, part of uh, this uh, search, as well as uh, four cases of maraudership. Ära hoitud 156 marauderust. And 156 uh, were prevented. Jatku u misjah masovo skupčenje ljudi. Policiji tagas avaliku turvalis. The police ensured public order and safety in uh, places of uh, gathering, such as near food shops, banks, post offices, healthcare facilities, and so on. Unfortunately, the enemy did uh, still uh, fired at uh, and bombed uh, places where people were gathering. On the 16th of March, Russian forces uh, shot at uh, people uh, queuing uh, for bread and uh, 18 people were killed. Control Na teritoriji mjesta Černijova. Lisaks tagas policiji Černijivi teritoriumi 11. Furthermore, 11 uh, control checkpoints uh, were uh, installed at the uh, Černijiv region. Uh, kokko oli kontrol... In total, 300, uh, 213 uh, policemen were working in the checkpoints. They uh, carried out the checking of documents. They uh, checked uh, the injured people. Uh, they uh, checked uh, people uh, collaborating with the enemy forces, forces and uh, conducted other activities. At the same time, the policemen who actively uh, took part in the evacuation of civilians. First, women uh, with children, uh, the elderly and heavily injured individuals were evacuated. This was done first using uh, cars and uh, buses, but after the uh, bridge was blown up, uh, even by boats. The Chernikiv uh, Regional Police also uh, supported the humanitarian columns and uh, helped uh, to deliver essentials to civilians. Tasked uh, by uh, the regional uh, military uh, center, M medications, uh, food, and water were delivered uh, to people in the region. In these difficult times, the police paid a special attention to uh, people who uh, had ended up in uh, difficult uh, living situations. There were visits carried out uh, to places uh, where children and uh, the elderly lived. Food and water was delivered to people in bomb shelters. After 
after bombing the uh, police inspected uh, the destruction caused on the sites and uh, assisted in uh, uh, cleaning up these areas The police also took uh, dead bodies uh, directly to the morgue. There, they also oversaw a uh, 24 uh, hour basis uh, the identification activities and burials. And the police collected uh, all the um, uh, information about uh, those uh, who had uh, perished in order to inform their families. During periods of active warfare in the Cherniki region, there were daily bombings, uh, shellings and uh, missile attacks. Some uh, explosive devices fell without exploding and ended up in uh, residence uh, gardens. Police officials uh, neutralized uh, unexploded uh, explosive devices and offered uh, extra protection to uh, the people affected. The documentation of uh, war crimes and damage caused. After the end of the active uh, warfare period, stabilization methods were applied in the Cherniki region. Our main tasks included documentation of uh, war crimes and removal of explosive uh, devices and uh, mines. We also uh, started an interactive uh, online map about uh, the uh, villages that had been temporarily occupied by Russian forces. This map shows uh, the police uh, uh, work uh, during uh, the documentation of uh, uh, war crimes and uh, reporting of uh, damages caused. The interactive online map shows which crimes were carried out in uh, each of the regions. Our policemen analyzed 163 municipalities that uh, had uh, received damage and uh, they checked uh, 21,000 uh, landmarks, uh, residential buildings and other facilities.
during the demining of uh, the territory police uh, confiscated about 12,000 units of uh, ammunition and they seized 11,769 explosive materials. One of the priorities of uh, the police uh, today is uh, revealing the crimes uh, uh, that have taken place in the Cheneki region. In order to document crimes, mm, the police is cooperating with the local residents. According to the National uh, Security Investigation, uh, 1,267 criminal uh, proceedings related to the military aggression of Russia have been investigated. Ukraine's territorial uh, territory has uh, uh, seen uh, uh, 216 cases which are currently under investigation, cases of war crimes and 16 Russian uh, soldiers have been notified of suspicion. Eight crimes have been transmitted to court against Russian soldiers. Social networks are being monitored as well as uh, photo materials in order to analyze uh, uh, who was out of the individuals in the region were part of the Russian military. To solve these crimes, uh, the criminal police of the region is using the latest methods, analyzing uh, crimes using IT solutions and uh, using the help of uh, part of uh, ally states. Thanks to this, about 13,000 uh, soldiers uh, with Russian citizenship have been identified as military personnel out of those uh, present in the Chernikiv region. Dear colleagues, to conclude, I would like to thank Estonian police officers for the help given to us and uh, for the help that uh, they are still offering us. My special thanks uh, goes out to the South Region police officers who bought and gave us um, 
medical tourniquets, uh, helicopters, uh, video and IT technology and uh, tablets uh, that we use uh, for uh, our operations and for monitoring and uh, these were um, things that uh, the southern uh, regional police bought uh, with their own money and donated to Ukraine. I would like to uh, invite Valo Koppel from the South uh, Prefecture to accept thanks from uh, uh, the representative of uh, Ukrainian uh, police and from all of us. I serve Estonian people and Ukrainian people. Thank you for, for your attention.